This is the Squared Away channel, the channel where we not only talk about problems facing our world today, but we also discuss ways that we can address them, not be victims, not be passive, and solve them. Today's topic of discussion is pornography. Now, in my opinion, as I believe uh, you may share this opinion, otherwise you wouldn't be on this video, pornography is one of the most gruesome, disgusting problems that is facing our society today. I don't have to tell you that porn robs you of your energy, your self-confidence, boatloads of your time, and it also darkens your intellect. It makes you stupid, and it puts a wall between you and God. Now, if you don't believe in God, that's still okay for you to understand what I'm about to say here, because how many of you get done masturbating and triumphantly raise your arms in the air and feel like you've accomplished a great feat? Probably not many of you. There may be some of you who don't necessarily feel too bad about pornography, but I promise you everyone does get to the point where brokenness and a defeated sense of doubt and dejection takes over. Pornography sucks the life out of you. Now, I want to give you a brief recap of my personal story, just so you know that I have been down the same roads that you have been down. Now, I was introduced to pornography probably a little later in life than some of the people are today. Today, as sad as it is, I think people are introduced to porn simultaneously to receiving their first smartphone or computer. It's everywhere. It's on the shelves of the grocery store aisles. It is in our daily life. It has been incorporated into fashion. You just cannot get away from the triggers. So we are immersed in it. And I became immersed in it when I was in sixth grade and I was helping a friend of mine move from one house to the other. When I went into the attic, I found boxes upon boxes of Playboy magazines. Now, I was a, a young kid, so my uh, plan was to sneak some of these magazines out in my pant leg rolled up. I was caught, as I tended to always be when I tried to do anything mischievous as a child, and the girl um, whose mother I was helping move from one house to the other told me that I didn't have to hide these, I could have them all. So she had promised me before this had started that we were, uh, a couple friends of mine came with me and we were going to get pay and pizza for helping her move. We made a joke after she offered this magazine that we were going to get the three P's. We were going to get pizza, pay, and porn. We never got paid and we never got pizza. We got a sandwich, but we got a lot of porn. And that was my first experience into being introduced to this type of world. Now, the floodgates didn't open at that time. Everybody has their own story associated with this thing, but... It did plant a seed, and that seed sprouted and came to fruition when I was in the Navy from 18 to 23 years old, and pornography at that point became a daily occurrence. There would be times when I would decide I would try to beat the idea of pornography, and I would try to leave it behind me, and I would drink, or I would be stressed out, and it would be right back there. Now, I tried to make bargains with myself as I'm sure some of you have, and this is really going to filter into the point of this whole topic, which is, what do we do to stop this if it's everywhere? Well, the first thing that I would recommend that you don't do is the thing that I did over and over again for years, and that was to declare to God and myself that I would never look again. I made bargains with myself I declared that I would donate to charity every time I did it. I would give $20 to charity every time I fell into internet pornography. And after a while, it just became so expensive and uh, so demoralizing that I just quit giving money to charity and just fully indulged once again. I tried going to confession over and over again, and I do recommend going to confession or going and speaking to a pastor or a priest if you do have the option. However, 
there are psychological triggers that are in place when it comes to pornography and one of those is just the to hell with it mechanism which is you're gonna resist 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 and then sooner or later it's just ah to hell with it and you acquiesce and you do it again and then you feel horrible after you're done now all these things run you smack dab into the same problem which is it's your brain against itself it's your mind against itself and the more times you've tried to fix this and fallen you've fallen into weakness and that weakness this may sound paradoxical but that weakness has become stronger you have strengthened your weakness every time you succumb to the temptation of www whatever you're into dot com my plead to you what I am begging you to do is the one thing that helped me be free of pornography for three years let me say first that you must first really want to do this you must want to end pornography and this can be for any of the reasons that we spoke of before what it does to you personally I would also recommend that if you have a heart for others that you take a look at how closely pornography is tied to abortion and how closely it is tied to human trafficking if you have looked at pornography for years it is almost guaranteed that some of those models some of those women and even even some of those men that you have looked at have been slaves. Now let me let that sink in for a second. You have been indulging your fantasies by looking at people that were truly slaves. Human trafficked victims that were slaves. So what I'm saying this for is I'd like to say that you have to really get some resolution on the problem. You have to see why this is a problem because if you don't know what's so bad about pornography those inclinations and those temptations will be virtually impossible to resist. So whatever it is that you think you have a heart for, get some resolution on that. Get some clarity on that. See what really is wrong with pornography. You may be someone who is a little more, uh, as I am as well, interested in what pornography does to your brain. Uh, pornography has a very intense biochemical effect which can essentially make you less of a man. It makes you less of you. It drains you. It sucks the life out of you. So I'm going to put that all in the category of reasons why pornography is bad, as well as it creating a barrier between you and the spirit, between you and God. But please find some accountability. You cannot try to beat this savage beast away by yourself. It is too strong, and its tentacles have reached into all facets of our life, and it's just impossible to escape. Find some accountability. If you are here trying to get pornography out of your life, Odds are there are friends around you. Maybe they haven't even spoken to you about it, but maybe you could start this conversation. There are probably friends in your life that are suffering from the same problem, and they may never admit it until you spoke to them about it, made yourself vulnerable, confessed that pornography is having a horrible effect in your life. You may even breach the topic in a casual setting like, man, I'm really feeling kind of worn down I, I keep falling into pornography and just seeing see what some of these people how they respond you may find an avenue to begin your own network of people who can support you and hold you accountable just knowing that you may have to tell a person after you've indulged may help you break that cycle so that's my primary point to this video is please do not try to do it alone please try to find somebody who you can be accountable to and my second point and this is just as much of a of a point is that find a person find one of those friends that you can now I'm not saying you should go without talking to them for weeks or months at a time but it's good to have a friend like that 
involved in this in this problem of yours because even the best people even people that are really trying to walk a good walk fall they fall and they become dejected and there's days when they don't want to get out of bed and there's days when temptation gets the better of them and you need to find some people that don't expect you to be perfect but will hold you accountable and will pray with you will help you get back on the wagon when you do fall away don't try to beat this savage beast by yourself I have sought out people who I can be accountable to people who I have confessed to over and over again when I had fallen and even when I have fallen in other ways I'm able to talk to them about it and it's 2017 right now I don't ever intend to look at pornography again but it's been three years since I've looked and it feels pretty good I want to leave this on a positive note because we are optimists here at Squared Away, even though it doesn't seem like it sometimes. Optimism is the battle. Keeping a positive disposition, continuing to be uplifting towards others is the battle. Anyone can sink into depression. Depression is automatic. Optimism takes effort. What I'd like to leave you with is that you can do this. You can beat this. And when you do, it will become easy. I don't want to act confident or overconfident or cocky, but not looking at some of those old websites, not looking at pornography, not masturbating, is not such a cross to bear anymore. It's become fairly easy. And it's because I have rerouted those spiritual circuits, those mental circuits, it's not my go-to when I want to release any pressure, and I feel supercharged. I feel me times me. I feel like I am more confident in talking to people. I am able to do a YouTube video, whereas before I would never even want to hear the sound of my voice. I still don't even like it that much, so thanks for bearing with me. I'm just kidding. It's fine. But... Don't let that thing steal your soul, steal your heart. You have much too much to give, much too much to live for, to be pulled off track by something that just wants to destroy you. Thank you very much for listening to this. I look forward to hearing your comments. If you have any suggestions or ideas for the next video, I'm happy to hear them. And uh, if you'd like me to pray for you or if you'd like to even talk to me, uh, this channel is very small. You may be one of the few people that ever listen to this. So um, I'm not trying to get famous. I just think that if I can reach out to a couple people, that's worth it to me. So if you'd like to message me, send me an email. I will respond to you. I I'll try. I, I, I guess I can't promise that. I will do my best to respond to you. I can't promise something. I, I don't even know if I'll be alive tomorrow. But... Um, I want to see you win. I want to see you encourage others. God bless you and your families and your friends. And I am excited to see and hear about how this, uh, how this new journey is going to go for you. Have a great day.